Russian President Putin travels to North Korea today. The dictatorship of Kim Jong-un is one of the key suppliers of weapons and munitions to Russia after the Ukraine war turned the country into a pariah. It's his first visit to North Korea since the year 2000 when Kim's father ruled the country. For the latest, let's go to Chapman Bell, who's following the story for us. Good morning, Chapman. Do we know what Kim and Putin will discuss in their meeting? Good morning, Francis. Well, it seems little doubt that the focus of their talks will be surrounding munitions. Uh, there have been concerns uh, following particularly the two leaders' last visit last year in Russia's Far East about an agreement between the two nations, whereas Pyongyang provides armaments to Russia to support their ongoing war in Ukraine, and Russia then provides economic aid and technology assistance to North Korea. And, you know, while the two sides uh, uh, seem to be more closely aligned, uh, American and South Korean officials have, of course, um, accused Pyongyang of providing military aid to Russia. Both sides have denied this, uh, as that accusation would violate a U.N. Security Council resolution or several U.N. Council uh, resolutions. And this all visit happening on the heels of Russia's latest visit to Cuba the, uh, for naval drills. The Russian Navy spending five days uh, in Cuba for naval drills and what's being described as routine drills for this visit. Uh, but Putin's two-day state visit to uh, North Korea will be his first visit there since becoming a newly elected president back in 2000 when he visited Kim Jong-un's father, uh, Kim, uh, Kim uh, Jong-il. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see what happens from this two-day state visit. The two, uh, the, he's, Putin's expected to arrive today, and uh, the two leaders are expected to meet tomorrow. So we'll see what happens and what maybe comes out of this visit, Francis. A visit and meeting on the world stage with everyone watching. Kay Chapman, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.